And we begin here at 10 with a live look over downtown Detroit where conditions are finally calm after strong storms swept through southeast Michigan, leaving a trail of damage behind tonight. And tonight we're getting a look at the damage. Several pictures on our My Picks showing what the storm brought with it. First in Davison, they saw hail larger than the size of a golf ball. And then over in Port Huron, every which way you turn, there's a down tree. So tonight, a big cleanup is ahead. Well, it's good to have you with us. I'm Demond Fernandez in for Devin Skillion tonight. I'm Kimberly Gill. It's been a wild weather ride for most of the day from Davison, where tennis ball sized hail did some substantial damage to Port Huron, where it's littered there with massive old trees on the ground. And that's where our Mara McDonald is live tonight. Mara Pine Grove Park is a city jewel there, and it took some very heavy hits tonight. Demond, it sure is. Let me show everybody. Take a look. You see this one right here. You know, this is not exactly a small tree. The entire thing laid out in the park like this, almost like someone just threw a match. The sounds of saws and generators, a steady hum with more to come. Down limbs, downed power lines and uprooted trees are everywhere. All of a sudden, the wind kind of picked up and I looked outside and kind of Kind of a yellow color, kind of a, a color, and it was blowing like, like really bad. Blowing so bad, not one but two old trees were uprooted across the street. And if you look above, you can see where the bark was peeled off the branches. But the trees were absolutely swaying back and forth, almost like it was a hurricane. Trees whipped up, sheared off, and spread throughout the city, but especially along Pine Grove Avenue, where they're blocking traffic. Power is out to a good portion of Port Huron tonight. And Pine Grove Park looks like a giant just started swatting trees down. We've had big storms before and some limbs have broken off and we've lost a couple larger trees, but like nothing to the extent that was done today. Uh, I think we counted at least a dozen plus large limbs from other mature trees that had fallen off. Back here live, neighbors who live in this immediate area say that while the bad weather may have been about a like a 45 minute storm, what did this all over town? That was about a 15 minute portion. And like you heard Mr. Balmer say, the sky turned a weird shade of yellow. So there is a huge cleanup underway here right now. We're live in Port Huron. I'm Mara McDonald, Local yeah. 4. All right, Mara, thank you.